What is going on guys? My name is Family Shucks and welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans. In today's episode, I'm going to be mainly doing a strategy guide for Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 on dealing with the Clan Castle Hound in Clan Wars. Now, this is strictly a coincidence that Swade Man also uploaded a video the other day on dealing with the Clan Castle Hound and he did mention using archers and healers, which the replays in this video will be clearly exemplifying that kind of strategy. So post-update after the development of the poison spell, the poison spell has become the norm in clan wars and the lightning spell is not as used as often, if not at all, in clan wars. And I think it's mainly due to the inconsistency of taking out clan castle troops and also dealing with a few other factors when using the lightning spell. With the poison spell, you're very consistent, and with a level 1 spell, you can still take out max level troops, whether it be wizards or witches. Now, with that being said on how a level 1 poison spell is able to take out max level wizards or witches, which used to be a very crucial combination and very deadly combination in Clan Wars on defense, now people are starting to recommend and use high hit point troops in the clan castle, such as Lava Hounds, Dragons, Loons, or Valks, in order to try and combat the Poison Spell or the usage of the Poison Spell, whether it be for Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10. So there are pretty much three ways in order to deal with the Hound in the Clan Castle, and two of which are probably the most effective and most used in Clan Wars. Mainly by Town Hall 9s, but not so much with Town Hall 10s, just due to the fact that they have high level heroes and also an extra spell. So the first way is very simple and it's luring. You're activating the clan castle, taking it to the corner, using some troops and your arch queen in order to take out the clan castle hound as fast as possible. Now even though this is a fairly effective way as it has been since pretty much the game has came out, you're losing a lot of precious time and also some precious troops which can help with cleanup especially if you're going for the 3 star. And also in this process when the hound does pop, when the pups start to target your arch queen, you'll be forced to use her ability early and that can be really crucial because the Arch Queen can be used to take out probably a variety of other defenses inside the base and using her ability in order to take out a good portion of the base instead of just using it to kill pups and keep her alive. Now this is being said if you're using a 3 star army such as Goho or Shadded or CB Laloon just due to the fact that you have an army composition that is very specific to the base and very strict and you can't sacrifice those spare troops in order to distract the hound over troops such as extra hogs or extra loons or maybe an extra golem. Now the next way in order to deal with the clan castle hound would be to take it out during your hybrid attack. Now if you guys don't know what the hybrid attack is, it is basically the beginning portion of your 3 star attack. Using the golems to tank, wizards and minions to funnel, and your heroes in order to take out the enemy archer queen. And alongside with other defenses and eliminating giant bombs if needed specific to the army composition. Now because the dark spell only takes up one spot in your 9 to 11 spell range, it allows for you to carry more regular spells whether it be rages or heal spells. Now what this allows is for more people to use rage spells in their hybrid attack in order to speed up the process and deal more damage to take out more defenses and also take out that clan castle hound or dragon which can be conveniently seen in this replay right here. So when it comes to dealing with a high hit point troop in the enemy clan castle, whether it be a golem, a hound, or a dragon, use that rage spell in your hybrid portion in order to speed up the process in order so that your heroes stay alive and they also deal more damage and take out a larger portion of the base. Now the final way in order to deal with the clan castle hound which can be highlighted in every replay of this video is using the archer healer strategy. Now this strategy is not common at all in pretty much any clan war that I've seen, only really in elite wars, and this is mainly used in order for a cleanup attack because you don't know the clan castle in the first attack, unless you have a spy. Now this strategy is very creative and very effective when it comes to dealing with the clan castle hound. Now for town hall 9 you don't really need to use a poison spell because you only have to deal with the 30 spaced hound, but when you're using it for town hall 10, you have to use the poison spell in order to deal with the 5 other troops in that clan castle space. Now there are a couple ways in order to pull off this effective lure in order so that you don't use a lot of troops just trying to get the clan castle hound out, so that way you can just pull it to the corner and use the archer healer. Now first off, in particular to this replay, he used a very cheap lure, using some hogs and some giants in order to distract. But in the next replay, you'll see that the attacker used a heavy lure 
using pretty much you could call it a strike force with a mass amount of hogs in order to take out several defenses and also lure the clan castle at the same time. Now the strategy behind using the archer healer in order to distract the hound is pretty basic. You're using two archers and one healer which is pretty much the ideal composition if you're using this in order to distract the hound. Now because the hound has such low DPS on other troops until it pops, you want to try and keep it occupied on the same archers until it pops. Now the goal of course is to not let it pop, but if it pops, you should be at the end of your raid, if not getting close to probably 99% by the time the hound pops, because you don't want those pups running around destroying your loons or your hogs or your cleanup troops, because having a nice smooth cleanup is what's key to get you that three star without time running out. Now this strategy of using archer healer is pretty base specific because you have to have the base to allow you in order to have the archers and healers far off in order to distract the hound for as long as possible and having it away from defenses firing on the healer or the archers. So only use this kind of strategy if the base allows it and like I said the ideal composition would be two archers and one healer because that second archer is there for insurance in case the first one dies because sometimes the healer powers times off differently from the hound dps if you get what i'm saying so as you guys can see the hound is still distracted on the archers and healer on the far right hand corner which allowed for little epic to have a very smooth hybrid portion of his attack so his archer queen didn't get distracted on anything and she's pretty much still alive close to the end of this raid. His surgical hogging went smoothly and he's just plowing his way through the rest of this base and it's only a matter of time before he gets that 100% because after this little portion of the base it's basic cleanup from here. So as you guys can see from this video highlighted by the archer healer strategy especially when it comes to dealing with the clan castle hounds and hopefully I explain fully the other ways in order to deal with the clan castle hound post update in clan wars and as i mentioned previously suede made a brief tutorial on how to deal with the clan castle hound the other day and i'll leave his link in the description go subscribe to him tell him i sent you but that's it thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace